Hi, my name is Dr. Ash Takau. I'm a psychiatrist and I have an interest in people who have mood disorders like depression, anxiety disorders, PTSD, and other kinds of mental health conditions. I'm often asked to see people who've got a mental health condition and I could be asked to see them for their lawyer or another lawyer or an insurer or a dispute resolution body like the Workers' Compensation Commission or medical panels. And that's to help provide some light for the requesting party in terms of whether there's a mental illness at play, what that might be, whether there's treatment, whether the treatment is adequate or not, or whether there are things that could help the person in their journey to recovery. I always thought that psychiatry was really interesting because in medicine, you're taught to think of the whole person and that's biopsychosocial. And in my rotations in medicine, in medical school, I felt that there were rotations where that perhaps wasn't really lived out. But in psychiatry, I felt that that practice of biopsychosocial and even considering the spiritual realm uh, was really considered. And you have to think about and balance all of those aspects of a person in thinking about maybe how they got unwell, but also how you're gonna think about their recovery and what their recovery might look like. And uh, it's an area of medicine where uh, perhaps traditionally we've known a bit less about the brain, um, but we're not just talking about the brain, we're talking about the brain and mind and the person, which is a lot more complicated than other parts of the body. And so with there being less known, there's also more potential to, to learn more, to discover more and to make a difference doing more today than what we did yesterday. What I enjoy about my job is that I actually get to see and assess lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds. And you know, they could range from someone who's working in the police to working in a mine, to working in the retail sector or healthcare employees. Um, people are assessed for lots of different purposes. Now that might be for their lawyer or their insurer or for a dispute resolution assessment for the Workers' Compensation Commission. And what I really enjoy is often the assessment is the first step in the pathway of recovery for the person to start to get pieces of their recovery jigsaw put together. And it's the first step of them moving beyond the injury. More recently, some of the more complex work that I've been doing has involved institutional and sexual abuse claims, um, which are often quite complex, which can stretch back quite a long time. And so it's important to provide a safe space where that history can be obtained in detail in a way that the person being examined feels as comfortable as possible while still getting a clear history. In addition to that, I also do psychiatric medical negligence assessments. Uh, so a person who might have suffered an injury in the course of medical or surgical treatment, who's also developed a psychiatric condition that needs assessment, um, is something that I've got an interest in. I've got an interest in um, balancing a number of different things in my assessments. Uh, one of those is to be, to provide a balanced assessment that's down the line, fair, but accurate. I've been told that my assessments are very clear in, their, in the opinions, and I've been told that they're quite detailed. And I try and make sure every assessment follows uh, the same sort of pathway to lead to a detailed, clear, balanced assessment. While the medico-legal process is not treatment, I think it's important that the person being assessed feels understood, heard, and is given a safe environment to talk about things that potentially are quite difficult to talk about. Rehabilitation and recovery have always been really important to me. And I think um, in the medical legal process, the assessor has a really important and powerful role to play, uh, whoever the assessment is being done for, in helping put down the track for the person who's injured to start their recovery walk to start moving on with their life, to start getting better. And the byproduct of that is that through the process, they may be able to return to work, their functioning may improve, or they may be able to access treatment that they didn't have before that can make a difference to the quality of their life. One of the things that I enjoy about my job is that you get to meet people from a really broad cross section of society, people with different jobs, backgrounds, different cultural and linguistic backgrounds. Uh, you get to learn about the world in which they live in. And I think that's important in today's day and age.